Welcome back to another journey back to the sands of ancient Egypt, where the Great Pyramid of Giza holds secrets that not only challenge our understanding of ancient civilizations, but are seemingly ignored by some. Could the ancients actually have achieved such architectural perfection with the tools and knowledge we're told they had? Or was there an older, more advanced civilization responsible? Did the principle of parsimony fail us again? Let's take a look. The Great Pyramid's foundation, spanning over 13 acres, is not just a colossal marvel. It's an engineering masterpiece exhibiting an astonishing level of precision. Imagine attempting to level your backyard, only to realize you've created a surface as vast as 10 football fields combined. Consider laying down a football field where the surface is so flat, the difference in height from one end to the other is less than the width of a human thumb. That's the level of precision we're talking about over an area larger than 13 acres, or 756 feet or 230 meters on each side. Without lasers, GPS or modern machinery, the ancient builders supposedly used simple tools like ropes and water levels to be level within a quarter of an inch per every 100 feet. No wonder modern engineers and builders scoff at the possibility. Could a civilization considered primitive have possessed technology that exceeds our current understanding? Or is there an older, more advanced civilization yet to be discovered? The implications of the existence of such civilizations and their eventual disappearance are profound. They force us to question the sustainability and vulnerability of our own society. Ignoring the lessons hidden in these ancient accomplishments could potentially lead us to repeat the mistakes of the past. The principle of parsimony often suggests that the simplest explanation is usually the best. But What's the probability that this principle failed to capture the true complexity of ancient construction? The meticulous foundation of the Great Pyramid indicates that we're likely missing pieces of a much larger puzzle. The question then arises, how could a civilization deemed primitive have wielded technology far beyond our current understanding? The mystery of the Great Pyramid continues to captivate us compelling us to delve deeper into the secrets of the past and perhaps to rediscover lost knowledge. At the heart of this engineering marvel lies the concept of level tolerance. Now, what exactly is level tolerance? In the simplest terms, it's the degree to which a surface adheres to a perfectly flat plane. Imagine trying to place a marble on a table and it rolls off. That would be a table with poor level tolerance. But if the marble stays put, the table has high level tolerance. It's a fundamental principle in construction that ensures the stability and integrity of a structure. In the case of the Great Pyramid, this tolerance is astonishingly within 21 millimeters over its entire 13 acre base. To put that into perspective, it's akin to laying a vast carpet across multiple football fields with no edge rising or falling more than the thickness of your smartphone. This level of precision is crucial for the pyramid. It ensures an even weight distribution across the base, preventing structural stress that could lead to collapse. But achieving level tolerance isn't easy, even with today's technology. It requires precise measurements, meticulous planning and exact execution. So how did the ancient Egyptians manage it? They didn't have the lasers or GPS equipment we rely on today. They couldn't just whip out a smartphone and check if the base was level. Yet they somehow achieved a level of precision that we would struggle to replicate. Achieving such precision without modern tools hints at an understanding of engineering principles that rivals our own. It suggests that the builders of the Great Pyramid had a deep knowledge of geometry, measurement and construction techniques. They must have developed tools or methods that allowed them to work with such precision even on such a grand scale. So next time you're looking at the Great Pyramid, remember the level tolerance it's not just about the size or the age of the structure, it's about the skill and knowledge of the people who built it. It's a testament to their understanding of the world around them and their ability to manipulate it to their will. Achieving such precision would require not only require an understanding of engineering principles, but also coordination and planning skills akin to those employed today. In our modern times, we achieve level tolerance through technologies like laser leveling tools and GPS survey equipment. 
These tools, born out of our relentless pursuit of precision and perfection, allow us to measure, adjust and verify the levelness of a surface to within mere millimetres. Consider a construction site. Before a single brick is laid, surveyors use GPS equipment to map the site's topography, creating a digital model of the ground's highs and lows. This model serves as the blueprint for site preparation guiding machines that scrape and fill the earth to create a level foundation. Laser leveling tools mounted on tripods or attached to machinery emit a beam of light that provides a constant level reference. These lasers can detect deviations from levelness, allowing for immediate correction. Now contrast these modern methods with the supposed methods used by the ancient Egyptians. We're told that the builders of the Great Pyramid used basic tools like plumb lines, squares and water levels. Picture this. A water level, essentially a tube filled with water, is used to determine levelness based on the principle that water seeks its own level. But over an area as vast as 13 acres, the slightest error in levelling would be multiplied, leading to significant deviations. This begs the question, how did they achieve such precision across such a massive base? The plumb line, a weight suspended from a string, was likely used to ensure vertical alignment. But again, the slightest breeze or human error could lead to inaccuracies. And yet, the Great Pyramid's edges are aligned with the cardinal points of the compass within a fraction of a degree. The notion that ancient Egyptians were able to construct such a precisely levelled foundation with simple tools challenges our understanding. It points to a level of sophistication and precision that seems out of reach for a civilization of that era. It invites us to rethink our assumptions about the past and reconsider the narrative of human progress. Perhaps our ancestors were not as primitive as we've been led to believe. So how would the ancient Egyptians have managed this feat? Let's delve into some theories that attempt to unravel this engineering marvel. The first theory involves the use of water levels. Water, by nature, always seeks its level, creating a horizontal surface. Ancient Egyptians could have used this principle to achieve the precision we see. They might have dug a series of trenches around the pyramid's base, connected by canals, and filled them with water. The surface of the water in these trenches would create a perfect level that could be used as a reference for the workers. Another theory suggests that the Egyptians employed celestial alignment. The North Star, which remains fixed in the night sky, could have been used as a guide. By aligning the pyramid's base with the North Star, they could ensure that the structure was level. Yet another theory posits that the Egyptians used a device called a plumb bob a heavy weight suspended from a string to establish a vertical line. By using multiple plumb bobs around the pyramid's base, they could ensure a level surface. Some theorists even propose that the ancient Egyptians may have understood and used principles of mathematics and geometry far beyond what we currently credit them with. All these theories, however, are based on a perfect execution of the techniques. They leave no room for human error over an area as vast as 13 acres. This gap in understanding fuels the mystery and the intrigue, compelling us to consider advanced methods or tools that have not survived the eons. These theories, however, leave no room for human error over an area as vast as 13 acres, suggesting the possibility of a sophisticated ancient civilization with knowledge and tools lost to us over the millennia. The gap in understanding fuels the mystery, compelling us to consider advanced methods or tools that have not survived the eons. The precision of the Great Pyramid's base is not just a testament to the technical prowess of ancient builders, but it's also a silent whisper from history, suggesting that we may not have the full picture. The idea of a civilization with advanced technology long before our own is an intriguing prospect. Just as we marvel at the Great Pyramid today, future generations might look back at our skyscrapers and wonder how we could have built them without anti-gravity technology or molecular construction. The point being, what we consider advanced today might seem rudimentary to the civilizations of the future. The Great Pyramid's level tolerance, achieved thousands of years ago, forces us to rethink the narrative of human advancement. It hints at the possibility that our linear understanding of progress, from primitive to advanced, might be flawed. 
Perhaps it's more cyclical, with civilizations rising, advancing, and then fading away, their knowledge lost to time, leaving only tantalizing clues like the Great Pyramid. This mystery also underscores the importance of preserving our own knowledge and achievements for future generations. It's a reminder that civilizations can fade, and with them, their understanding and technology. Today, we have the means to preserve our knowledge digitally. But who's to say how long these will last or be accessible? The Great Pyramid's incredible level tolerance is a riddle wrapped in an enigma, a marvel of engineering that continues to baffle us. It stands as a testament to the ingenuity of our ancestors, a beacon of ancient knowledge, and a reminder of the mysteries of the past that are yet to be solved. While the truth remains buried in the sands of time, the Great Pyramid continues to remind us of the incredible capabilities of our ancestors and the mysteries that are yet to be unearthed. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to support our work.